Yeah, it's something that I have I have had to answer to a lot of people. What does Kyle Gibson do when he's got the oven mitt on and the big <laughs> yellow ball? And I thought, who better to ask than right. Kyle Gibson right, as so he's doing it? It's all about trying to create a healthier deceleration pattern. Um, a lot of our throw is acceleration, but the most important part of our throw is the deceleration because if you're not decelerating properly, you're going to hurt yourself. So that's one thing I was doing, you know, in 2014, 15, 16, when my back was sore, my shoulders strained, I was finishing more this way and toward home plate, and my arm was hitting my body and causing my shoulder to have shoulder strain and, and issues. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get more rotational on my finish, and as I rotate my upper body more, it gives my arm more time to slow itself down. So if I only give my arm from here to here to slow down, versus if I just get my shoulders to rotate more, it has from here all the way around before it starts jarring stuff, you know, in the ball and, and socket joints. So it's a little bit about muscle memory up here, kind of repeating the same motion over and Correct. over and over, and that's yeah. what this does. And you do this between every start, or is this a daily? No, this is a daily thing. So the first one I did, I was kneeling like this uh, and going through a motion like this, and same thing, like this knees up so that I can rotate through and finish my full deceleration pattern. What does the oven mitt actually add to the equation? <laughs> uh, so there's a seven ounce ball in here. And when, I mean, this is going to be pretty technical, but and when you throw the ball and it hits, when the ball hits the end of the oven mitt, all right, you think about a normal throw, you throw the baseball, you let it go, your arm decelerates. When you throw the seven ounce ball and it hits the end of the mitt, it jars the back of your shoulder to activate. All right, so when we normally throw a baseball, your hand goes from having five ounces to nothing in it. So it just slows down on its own. And that's why people think the rotator cuff is so important, which it is. But when the ball hits the end of the oven mitt, it starts to pull your shoulder forward, and then your body naturally kicks in with big muscles to keep your arm from going forward. So this is probably my favorite one. It's called a box drill. So I started in this position because one thing I was doing in 2016 and my previous years before that is I would get here, and I would drift forward, and my knee would get ahead of my toe, and I would be what Randy and Wes would call quad dominant. But unfortunately, my quads are not as strong as my glutes and hamstrings. When I'm activating my quads, my glutes and hamstrings are not going to be as strong as they can be. So what I do here is I try to really keep my knee back behind my toe, and I really try to, you know, you think about it, you go up for a rebound and you jump. That's one of the more athletic moves you can do. So I try to really keep my hips back and sit my backside over behind my heel so that when my weight's back, I use more glute and hamstring, which are stronger muscles. And Kyle, is this something that good mechanics lead to more accuracy absolutely or more velocity I mean I think it can add to a lot I would say my average velocity has probably you know been a little bit higher and, and it stayed you know pretty consistent but I think you know one thing I noticed when I started doing these in 2017 is I was a guy that really kind of stepped across my body probably you know a few inches but as I started doing this and started getting more you know hamstring and, and glute dominant versus quad dominant my direction to home got better instantaneously so, I mean, it just cleans everything up and it cleans your direction up toward home plate just by using the muscles that you have in the right way. And got him on strike. Very nice sinker from Kibby.